we're talking about uh, the importance of deadlines, the importance of timelines, the importance of due dates, and the necessary tracking systems that you can have in your life. We've seen how important this is in the past three episodes or so. We've been talking about the advantages of due dates and timelines and tracking systems for your goal in life. This is important. You, you see how critical it can be in life because you can sit on a table as a group of people and you can talk about your dreams and desires and so on and so forth, even at an organizational corporate level. But until someone draws a line in the sand and says, by this date, we must have these done. Until that is happening, well, chances are that everything is just coasting. Nothing is moving. Nothing is shifting. So let us look at the fourth advantage of having due dates and tracking systems for our goals and for our visions and for our resolutions and for our purpose pursuit. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I was living in a foreign country some years back, I think in the year 2013 to 2015, specifically in West Africa, and I was living there and working there with my family. And then something happened. The client communicated that they do not have money to pay us, and therefore at a particular date, my contract will come to an end. It will be terminated. Well... You can imagine what happened. Probably I did not have any other alternative at my disposal at that moment in time. But just the fact that there was a due date, the end of my employment, as it were, it spelled that some things needed to shift, some things needed to continue, some things needed to stop. And the fact that I had a due date, a deadline, meant that I needed to do something extraordinary outside of the normal. When I talk about the normal, I mean that if there was no due date, if there was no deadline for my employment, then probably I would still be living in West Africa. And probably you would not be listening to these episodes on this podcast. Probably I wouldn't have started this podcast one way or another. But I'm saying this to tell us that Every time there is a due date, there is a massive advantage of having a due date. There is a massive advantage of having a deadline for whatever desire, whatever pursuit, for whatever purpose that you have, whatever resolution, whatever goal, whatever dream, whatever name you're going to call it, whether it's a resolution, it's a dream, it's a goal, or it's a purpose, it's a desire, it's a wish, put a due date on it. It empowers it right then and there. And soon, we've seen already that First, it gives you urgency. Second, it constrains you. Third, it helps you with the proverbial time management. And you can review the past three episodes to get the crux of the matter as far as that is concerned. And yet today, I want us to see this, that a deadline gives birth. This is number four. Number four, advantage of having a deadline and tracking systems for that particular deadline or that particular goal is that it bathes the project and realizes the mission. That's number four. 
A deadline birthes, it gives birth. Let me tell you something. Giving birth is because of a deadline. Whether it's natural or whatever. But a deadline gives birth to a project. If you don't have a deadline, you will wander around like a ship on the shores that doesn't have a coxswain and is just being tossed around by the waves, going up and forth. I mean, it's not going anywhere. That's the problem that we have when we have valid ideas, valid desires, valid purpose, valid goals. But there is no due date. There is no delivery date for them. But then you draw a line in the sand and you say, by this time next year, I will have a child. Here's what happens. You got to go through the process of giving birth and you got to start by talking to someone who can carry your baby or whatever. A due date sets the ball rolling and all of a sudden you become a person on a mission. If you look around and you see people on mission, let me tell you this. They are those guys who know that there is a due date. And that's why they are consumed. They are mission imposed. Their trajectory in life is of time, is of essence. They are people on a mission. The people who are sitting back, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little of the falling hands to sleep. And the Bible says poverty shall strike you like a bandit and you know scarcity like an armed robber without the due date the project can be left pending for a long while but the completion of the project and the mission is subject to a particular led up to a particular deadline that you have set without this deadline believe me the mission can stay pending forever until death do you part with a particular mission or vision. Therefore, it's the deadline that gives the embodiment of the birthing of this vision, of this dream, of this resolution, of this goal, of this pursuit, of this purpose. One thing about a mission is that at times it has a shorter lifespan than the vision or the purpose. Completion of a mission feeds into the overall purpose that you are pursuing. And therefore, this creates momentum. But let me tell you something also. Did you know, by the way, in actual sense for the most part, did you know, did you realize that setting a due date at times is that we overestimate the time that we will need? So you set a particular due date because of your own approximation or own estimation. But for the most part, the guys who have a due date, they always deliver before the due date. Always. Always the project is going to be delivered before the due date. Okay, for the most part. Let me not say always. For the most part. In other words, we don't have the correct estimation of how it will take. But the moment this due date has been set into place and you start putting your hands on the plow, you start getting dirty, you start rolling your overalls, you start putting on the overalls and so on, you start pulling up your socks and so on, you start going after it. I mean, things start falling into place, things start connecting and so on and so forth. And before you know it, the project, the mission, it is birthed even way before the completion date. So the biggest friend you can ever aspire to have in pursuit of your vision is momentum. Every single day you are at it because you're looking at the wall clock. It's counting down to the day of delivery. To the day of delivery. The woman who knows that in nine month time I am giving birth, you won't find her shooting drugs in her system unless it's just a gone case. You won't find her imbibing alcohol in her system. You won't find her doing strenuous exercises in her system. Okay, of course, in the olden days they used to do that. They would even give birth. They would even give birth in the in the garden. But the moment you know a due date is coming, every day is important.
every day is counted did you know the women who are pregnant they normally keep track of how far along they have come and how far they have to go that's the same thing see the person with a deadline is like a pregnant woman pregnancy can be metaphorical it can also be real the person with a deadline you have a deadline to submit your manuscript you are pregnant that deadline is going to help you to give birth at the end of the day to the to the project that you are looking at and that's the importance of having this due date without it no birthing no new life i know very many christians you normally know, love quoting the bible saying god is starting a new thing is doing a new thing let me tell you the new thing is subject to a date and a deadline when is this otherwise you can be quoting god is doing a new thing for the rest of your life but when is the day when is the year what year is this see talking about the bible israelites were walking in the desert for 40 years 40 years 40 when they left egypt they were going to their promised land there was no due date until moses passes away and then god instructs joshua and gives him the due date for crossing the river jordan and into the promised land and from the time joshua was told if you compare the time that moses took joshua took days moses took years what's the difference the difference is that joshua had a due date moses didn't so ladies and gentlemen it is important for you and i to have due dates for our vision for our dreams and for our desires without them there is no birthing of our projects there's no birthing there's no realization of our mission tomorrow we continue winding up this series where we're talking about the importance of due dates and tracking in our purpose pursuit until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.